fly. K1 rules. This is under 95 kilograms. These are the big guns. Not the biggest, mm. but in fact, it's not under 95. It's over 95. Florin Matei from Romania, and he's fighting Yune Ben Malek from Belgium. Now, in the red corner, we have Florin Matei from Romania, five times Romanian kickboxing champion. Um, one loss he has here in the Senshi ring, which was to Nikola Filopovic. Uh, so that's no, uh, no bad thing. These are big guys. As we can see, one southpaw is an orthodox so far. So, I'm curious. Well, I said to Jan earlier, the problem when you're a big monster is that you have to fight other big monsters. Exactly, and you know, the impact is always scary, you know. When he, as you can see now, the Romanian goes really, li really hard Whoop. versus Eunice. Ben Malik there from Belgium slips back, but I think even though a lot of those punches from uh, Florin Matei were on the gloves, when you're this big, they still uh, have an effect on your brain. I'm always wondering, you know, when the big guys go fast, they go hard in the beginning, mm. uh, where they will end, you know? They get sore with the, the massive yep. muscles and things <laughs> like that. So. Well, they're all th the heavyweights are always going to gas. Exactly, you know, so I'm, I'm hoping that he can still continue with it, this pace for at least two rounds. And I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, just what pops into my head is somebody like Bob Sapp. Who, if he punches you, he's going to launch you across the arena, but he's only got 30 seconds in him. So if you can weather the storm. Exactly. And come back. Oh, oh well, nice right hand there. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Well, what is Yunus doing, man? Going to do down through his knees, yeah. bob and weave? Well, I don't know. He was, uh, blocking punches with your chin is never the best tactic, I can tell you that. Seems like he doesn't have a lot of power, Yunus, so far. But well, his defense is shocking at times. There. His hands are down. The his stability is... Not that good too, you know, while he's defending, like you said, uh, Grant. But now you can see they're gassing out, probably. So maybe you have feels an opportunity. Mm. And as we all know, you know, you know, Yunus is Belgian, but I think he has a Moroccan background. Yep. And they are fighters too, you know. If he had Arabic, you know, Arabic blood against a Romanian blood, so they have a big fighter's heart. So far, I know. Well. It's interesting what you're saying about gassing because Florin Matei come out like a raging bull. Well, he's still coming forward, but he's blowing heavy. But Ben Malik, his balance is strange to say the least. Exactly. So let's see how long he can keep this way of a bolt on the way of fighting. There we go, end of the first round. And clearly, I would say 10-9 to Florin Matei from Romania. Oh my God, they're gonna show me those motorbikes again. I can't stand much more oh of yeah. it. Did you saw the motorbikes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I get how you could be distracted. So um, here we have it. You know, you see the, the Romanian, uh, Florin, is, he's, he only, he's doing a lot of hand hunting. So I would, uh, if I were to school, with his coach, you know, so take some body shots. Oh, there he is. Yep. Okay, so yeah, okay, he heard me. And that was a strange moment for you. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know whether. They, well, there's nothing that he's practiced in training, I can probably assure you that. But. Um, should be weird, huh? If you do train it like this. If you should train it like this. Well, dropping, okay. dropping your hands. Go into horse stance and take one on the chin. Um, so here we go. Enough criticism about these two big guys. And actually, the Belgium guy it looks to have tightened up his, his work a little bit as we come into the second round. So let's give them an, uh, an opportunity. Let's have an overlook. Uh, they are swinging with their arms, hands down. But you know what? 
they combine it. They combine hands with kicks, a lot of aggression. Man, but you're just waiting for somebody to go over. That's the truth. Oh. They've both got their hands low now. I mean, they're both open to a, a big left hook. As we could see, they're uh, blue corner. I'm wondering if, 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 if uh, sweeping is allowed. Um, it is if you're stationary. You're not allowed to walk forwards or backwards with your opponent. No wrestling. But if you're stationary and you've got a grip, you can Let's sweep. See. As you can see, Eunice is uh, hanging forwards a lot. So the balance is weird, though, because he's uh, hanging forwards with his upper body uh, in an over way compared to his front or leading leg, you know? So that's so weird. So he's also headbutting. Uh, not that hard the headbutting, but he is, yeah, he takes a big chance and a risk to headbutt his opponent, like um, uh, Florian is doing also now. Yeah, I think, oh, nice right hand from Belgium. But I think there's, uh, there's, uh, there's quite a lot of wasted shots here. Still again, they keep on going, you know, even though it doesn't look uh, flashy, structured. Well, yeah, the work rate is still there, but still the power there. is not. Exactly. I think Florin gave too much in the beginning, in the first round. And Eunice taking advantage of it. And when you're a heavyweight, it's very difficult to recover in just a minute in between the rounds. I have to say, Grant, they, they, they're combining it. It's boxing, kicking, kneeing. So we have a seriously kickboxing show, even though the speed well, is not there anymore. But well, they're doing their best. They're gassing, and they're, but they're keeping on going. Yeah. So for, for heavyweights, they certainly are busy. That's for sure. Oh, there was a connecting hook from Eunice. Yeah, perhaps uh, Ben Malik is growing in confidence. So, what would you score, Grant? Wow. Second round. <laughs> well, uh, man. So, the first round, 100% Florin Matei. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give the second round for the cleaner work. It's going to go to Eunice Ben Malik. I agree. Um, so that's a round apiece. So do you think we see the final round? Good do we grief. See the winner? Well, well, what would be fascinating is if this, this is the first contest of the evening where we see an extra round. Um, but we don't want that. We want to see someone. Uh, yeah. Say spark code. Spark code. <laughs> spark code. Yeah. We, I wow. mean. We haven't seen a knockout yet. We've seen a knockdown. Um, but Grant, please explain what? to me. I'm Dutch. Yeah. Spark code. Sparked out. Sparked out. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's guess. Yeah, it's a traditional martial arts term. Okay. To be sparked, sparked out. out. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, a clean technique landing on the button just inside the chin. They say it only takes about three pounds of pressure to knock someone out, but mm -hmm. I would recommend delivering a lot more than that. Oh, damn, there's a And for someone, problem. again, for someone with 98 knockouts on your record? Yeah, I, I had some, you know, yeah. while I was not a power hitter, but, you know, the work I did was always for the knockout, you know, I, 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 I broke my opponents always with speed, with combinations. And work hard, rate. Work yeah. rate, hard leg kicks. So there were, afterwards there were a lot of opportunities. So like Yunus now too, you know, he's working hard, yep, keeping the, the pace high. You have to admire both these guys for, for just keeping on, keeping on, keeping on. That's what we have to admit, for sure. Yeah. So unfortunately, they don't connect that, that good. Like you said, the, the spark yield is, <laughs> is waiting. I was so going to ask you, Andy, actually, you know, back in the day. Yeah. I mean, nowadays, there's a fashion in a lot of gyms for these uh, yoga pants. 
But you actually started this fashion in, in the early 2000s. Yeah, I was so happy with it, you know. They called me with a ga that guy with the gay pants. <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, I, I was 19 years old, man. I was reading myself as in... You, you were know, all-inclusive right? before all-inclusive existed. <laughs> so. <laughs> so then, you know what? I eventually went my image. So I was the guy with uh, the long pants. Yeah. Even, oh. Well, look how tired Ben Malik is now. Both of them. We went off track there a little bit. Yeah, sorry for that, uh, folks. Halfway the last round. Uh, let's see what it brings. And Matei, you see him there just glancing over to the clock. When you're this big, the punches don't seem that powerful, but you've still got knockout power there. It's a weight, though. Yeah, there he goes. Isn't it in count? No. Oh, a little head, but they're eating their heart out. Well, nice right hand there from Ben Malik. Coming forward relentlessly. He's sliding and slipping and wobbling. Last 30 seconds. Oh. Still shots being landed by Matei from Romania. This last round is a very difficult one to score. No kicks anymore. Only head hunting, boxing, and hold it for the knockout. Well, got to finish the round strong. Mm, pretty difficult, Grant. Are you going to go out on a limb? Mm. Do you want me to embarrass myself? No, I, I, um, I don't want to predict anything. No. Well, I'm going to predict... a split decision in favour of Florin Matei from Romania, but... I'm not the official judge. It could go either way. And remember, guys, whenever a commentator gives a decision, there's three judges on three different sides of the ring. So they've got three different views of the action. I've only got one view of the action up here. So we'll always favor the judges, especially here at Senchi. There's absolutely no bias whatsoever. High one of the most referees. yeah one course. of the most professional setups i have seen in a very very long time i've said it before i'll say it again run by martial artists for martial artists and i love it here we go Bold, little damage not that much judge scores the fight 2928 28. judge 3 scores the fight 28 30 and we have a winner by a split decision split in decision. the red corner. Florian there we go. From Romania. You're right. Well, right. call me a clairvoyant. The award will be given uh, by Mr. Good for you. Yeah, that was a close fight. It was a split decision. Um, and Florin Matei is going to go away very happy. I mean, even though the power sort of uh, withered away. Yeah. Both guys were busy for that whole contest. That's what we have to admit. And we have to see that as a, as a, a beautiful thing, you know. Uh, we just spoke about it, you know, that they're heavy guys, and they're gassing out pretty fast, and they did it, even though it's, it looked like, you know, but they're fighting hard. Maybe it was the Arabic units, and maybe it was a Romanian power hitter, you know. So, you know, they, they have a great heart. Yes. Great mentality. Yeah, we said this before. When the gas tank's empty, what ki what drives you on? And it's that we call it heart. Um, well, like Muhammad Ali said, it could be a little, a little. It will be desire, the desire to win, desire to be the best, the desire to change the world, the desire to be somebody. And yeah. this in this martial arts game to be a champion.